Now, on a personal note, mm -hmm. uh, I was on my first trip to Israel some years ago, and I was on that small fishing boat that they take you across the mm -hmm. Sea of Galilee. They shut the motor off for a moment of prayer. After a few moments, the captain of the ship turned on, shout to the Lord, which echoed across the Sea of Galilee, across the hills. It's a, a moment that I think, one of those moments you remember all of your life. Um, that song in particular is sung by estimated 25 to 30 million people each Sunday in churches worldwide. How did you come to write that song? And did you think it was going to be touch so many hearts? Definitely not. <laughs> Um, I don't think any songwriter writes a song thinking it's going to be anything much. Um, we were just, you know, volunteering at church. We had a business that was struggling. I was singing jingles. We were, you know, the dream in our heart and our reality were very at polar opposites of life for us, two little children. and. Um, I just remember one day we got a tax bill that nearly, you know, I just, I'm like, I just can't, I can't keep doing this, you know. And I just, yeah, went into our little room, played a piano that my mum had bought me when I was five, and um, just worshipped God. Because, you know, in the end, that's, that's all we've got. <laughs> so I just really, between Psalm 96 and Psalm 100, is shout to the Lord, you know, mountains bow down, seas will roar. And I just, I really didn't even write it, I just really sang it. it. Took about 20 minutes and I didn't play it to anybody. I mean, I, I still, you know, as a songwriter, I don't go, oh wow, it's a great song, I'm going to play it to everybody. I mean, I just, I don't treat songs like that. I go, phew, who, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And I was like that with that song. And when I finally took it to um, worship pastor then, um, Jeff Bullock, um, I made him turn with his, sit with his back to me and the music director. I was like so embarrassed to play it. Just kept apologising. I'm sorry if this song's awful. I just, I'm sorry. I, I said sorry a thousand times and then I sang it. And then Jeff turned around and he said, um, that's an amazing song. How long have you been sitting on that? You know? <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, and then we did it in, during an offering at church. Um, and people started standing the first time we ever sang it. Just, it was an amazing, it's been, it's been an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. Phone calls and emails or letters, I think it was before email. <laughs> um, yeah. And, um, before it really was even recorded, you know, we were getting feedback from people about this song. So it kind of, once I sang it outside of myself, it just took on its own. Like this, uh, the Holy Spirit just, whew, it was gone. It was out of my hands. And um, so I can't really even take, I can't take any credit for it either. You know, I was between a rock and a hard place and just went to the Lord. And actually, if you read the Psalms, that's actually what the Psalms are. It's full of psalm. Full of the word is people stuck, and having to be on their knees, and their own shout to the Lord is born. You know. 